So you're gonna follow him then? Don't worry. I'm not losing out to that Weasley looking streak of shit. Guys, what the fuck? What's wrong, Pink? You chicken of a little challenge? No, I'm just afraid of looking like dicks. No fucking way! <laughs> That was a close one. Idiot! Okay, I got one. Last time I was in Lockham, there was this crazy prison bitch, Raul. What? Yeah, man. Damn! Personally, I want to get there in one piece. Like I was saying, one day Raul's old man found out he'd been cheating on him. This guy comes up to Raul in the prison canteen and cuts him right across the throat. Raul was never quiet about anything. Raul's especially not fucking quiet when he had his throat slit for me to eat. So this guy is... As I was saying. So this guy is spinning around the canteen wailing. Blood is spraying everywhere. On the tables, on the floor, on the fucking food. No fucker wants to go near this guy. No one knows what kind of infection he's carrying. The blood just wouldn't stop. I swear to God, just wouldn't fuck you. Show what you made of, Mr. Blue. Where'd I get to? Oh yeah. The blood just wouldn't stop. I swear i never seen so much fucking blood in my life. There was more blood coming out of his neck than in a whole human body. Another guy gets up, real quiet like. This guy's as big as a house. No, as big as a fucking apartment block. He grabs Raul by the throat, wrapping his whole massive hand around his neck. And the big guy tells him he's trying to eat his lunch. You know what? It worked. Raul's neck just stopped bleeding. It stopped bleeding just like fucking that. The big guy scared his throat into stopping bleeding. Can you believe that? Raul fucking survived. Never said another fucking word in his life. Stop waving your dick around and start driving. I heard about this one guy. This Nicola Dime thief had a job in a liquor store cleaning while the manager cashed up. This liquor store is next to the firehouse, and this motherfucker has a brilliant idea. That evening, he lit himself on fire. That's right, he set himself on fire. This guy reckons that the manager will run next door. He gives him five minutes to put out the fire, grab the cash, and get the fuck out. Unfortunately, this thief is a retarded piece of shit. Out of the whole liquor store, he picks a 20-year fucking bourbon to douse the flames. He went up like a Roman camp. He takes himself, the shop, and the fucking firehouse with him. That's why I only work with professionals. Too many idiots around. I'm ahead now. So many more smart ass comments. This is just a bit too fucking close for me. Now we're ahead. You guys gonna stop complaining? Get yourself killed if you drive that slowly. Hey, are we gonna do this or what? 